Alright, so I want to make a video on this topic, right? This is something I was going to use a DSLR for, but I don't feel like going to get that out. And, you know, my editing software aren't the best, but you feel me? New phone type shit. So I'm going to just use this, bring the old style of videos back, right? So I wanted to make a video about something that's kind of like Dan Calloway related. And even also we're dealing with the, the whole Nick and Tlaka movement. Which, uh, decolonization movement, I remember that from way back, if you remember that. If you want to call it a movement, back 2014, 2015, Instagram, right? And I wanted to make a video on this because I feel like now I'm able to explain this in the way that I was trying to explain this since I was young, right? Now that I got uh, more well articulate. I wanted to make a topic about um, race and indigenous people in the Americas, right? How race affects right, how race affects indigenous people of the Americas, right, not Africa, Europe, Asia, you might go into that, but I want to focus on this, right, because it's the same thing that everybody's saying, but I feel like people not explaining it properly, and that's where all this confusion is coming from, right, so, Dan Calloway, right, let me speak about Dan Calloway, right, Dan Calloway, if you know who Dan Calloway is, right, Dan Calloway, he's a, a dude, he makes uh, videos on YouTube, starting around, I think, 2017, right, about how that black people, right, so-called black Americans, black people in the Americas are actually the indigenous people of the Americas, right? I want to go into that, and I also want to go into the Nick and Tlaca movement, or the, the Mexico, Mexico movement, the uh, decolonization movement amongst Hispanic or Latin American people, right? Because it's something that I need to say and I need people to understand what I'm saying when I say this, right? What I've realized is in the Nika and Tlaka movement, for example, right? Back when I was like 13, 14, I remember this, right? The Nika and Tlaka movement, the problem with the Nika and Tlaka movement is the Nika and Tlaka movement is racist, right? And the whole Dan Calloway, you know, we are Indians, we're not black... That is as well led by or ran by as a lot of racist rhetoric and racism in it. If you're going to have a conversation, right, we're going to have a conversation about the indigenous people of the Americas, so-called Native Americans or indigenous American people or American Indians from North, Central, South America, the Caribbean, etc. If we're going to have this conversation, you need to make sure that you expel all ideas of race. Race is a social construct. Race, black, white, mestizo, pardo, custom. You need to expel all of that stuff because we're having a conversation about ethnicities and ethnic identities, not race, not who looks Creole or who looks Mula. We're not dealing with looks. Looks is how that we got here to begin with, right? Now, for example, when I say ethnicity versus race, you need to understand this. A person's race juxtaposed to a person's ethnicity and then the nationality. That's three different things, right? So let me give you an example. Nigerian, right? In Africa, Nigeria. Nigerian people, pardon me, Nigerian is a nationality, right? So a Nigerian person is somebody who's either born in Nigeria or their parents from Nigeria. You consider that a Nigerian person immigrated from Nigeria, right? Nigerian is the nationality. That's the nation. That's the country. There's different ethnic groups in Nigeria, right? In Nigeria, you have the Igbo or Igbo people, the Yoruba people, the Fulani people, the Hausa people. These are ethnic groups and ethnic identities of people that are indigenous to the land that is today called Nigeria, as well as Niger. Some other parts of West Africa, we focus on Nigeria, right? So, like I said, Nigerian is a nationality. Igbo, Yoruba, or Hausa, Fulani, these are ethnic groups. And then racially, if you would classify those people, they would be classified as black Africans and even some being Afro-Asiatic, right? As far as race goes, and this is what that so-called black and Hispanic people need to understand. A black person, a Negro, that is a racial classification. Negroid people, people that look black, people that look Negro. 
black to be black or to look negro basically the easiest way i could put it is you have to be some shade of brown and your hair has to be like a type four curl pattern it has to look like velcro or a taco meat i know i'm saying it kind of fucked up but i'm being honest with you any other uh, a form of brown skinned person because in the americas right a brown complexion if you have type three curls type two curls or, or you have flat out straight hair that is what that in the spanish or the spanish and portuguese control places in the americas that were colonized by the spanish and the portuguese that is what they call mestizo or mestico right J juxtaposed to in the french control areas where they had the term mulatto or a uh, 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 creole people like for example somebody might say that beyonce looks mixed a lot of times people say somebody look mixed or somebody look hispanic they talking about that mulatto, mestizo classification as well in Brazil, where they had pardo, castizo, etc. These are racial classifications. Race is what was used to not only divide the indigenous people in the Americas, it was used to divide Africans as well. A lot of people, like Afrocentric, black identity extremists that are our people, whether you be Jamaican, Haitian, whatever, feel like black people come from Africa. That is not true. That doesn't make sense because the white man, Western Europeans used race to divide people in Africa. Hence the term black African juxtaposed to a non-black African or Afro-Asiatic, Hamitic or Semitic people, especially in places like Algeria, Morocco, parts of Niger, parts of Sudan. You see what I'm saying? Like Arabic peoples, Amazigh people, Berbers, you got groups like the Tuareg. These are groups, even when we do Habisha people. There's, there's documentaries where that Western Europeans labeled Habisha people, like Amhara people, Tigray people, certain Ethiopians, as Caucasoid or Caucasian or white people, right? You got to understand how these racial classifications work. So black, the idea that black means African is an Afrocentric or black identity extremist idea. It's Afrocentrism, right? So you got to understand if you are Jamaican, Haitian, Dominican, Brazilian, Honduran, you're from Louisiana, wherever you're from, and you are this black classification, I mean, you have some shade of brown, your hair is like that small kinky. Look, that does not mean that you are African or of African descent. Black people don't come from nowhere. You have to understand that race is a social construct. There are black people or people that was classified as black that live in parts of Africa. There's people that were classified as black that live in parts of Asia, like the Andaman Islands, like Malaysia, like the Philippines. There's people who are classified as black who are from Europe. You want to go into Saracens or Moorish people and the origins of those people. You see what I'm saying? Same thing with Africa. There was people that was classified as white, like Moroccans, like certain people from Tunisia, Algeria, Egypt, certain groups like from Ethiopia, even Somali people that Western Europeans classified as white or Caucasoid people. There are people in Asia that are classified as white or Caucasoid people like Armenians, like the Kazakh people in Kazakhstan, like certain people from Afghanistan, like uh, uh, the Kurds, Kurdish people from Iraq. You got to understand how race, racial classification, race is social construct that was created by Western Europeans within the past 400 to 300 years, matter of fact, 300 to 400 years, to divide people, to divide ethnic groups from each other, to divide certain people in one ethnic group who look different type of ways, they got different Arabic clans, and in a lot of cases, especially when you're dealing with us people in the Americas, to divide people from their own family members. You might be Mexican, you might not look the most, uh, 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 Mexican or they say you look more white but you came out looking like that juxtaposed to your brother or compared to your sister or your cousin or whoever or you might be Dominican one of your cousins got straight hair they light skin you might be dark you look something like me you Dominican you got to understand how race was used to divide our people when the Europeans came here same when it came to Asia and Africa they Excuse me, Western Europeans came to the Americas, same way they came to Africa and Asia, and even the Polynesian Pacific Islanders. They divided our people with race. The problem with so called black and Hispanic people is that black and Hispanic people, the people of the Americas, islands, parts of the Americas, are the most racist. We are the most racist people on the face of this earth. Most of our people don't understand what an ethnicity is or have an ethnic identity. So, what people need to understand is, for example, right? I don't know how long this video is going to go, right? I'm going to have to do a part two. But for example, right? 
a, a Native American or an American Indian, an indigenous person, if you seen somebody that was part of a indigenous community, right, whether it be the Pure Picha, whether it be the Choctaw, whatever group, what you need to understand is that that person, if you are Navajo, then that Hopi, if you see that person, you would not be able to look at them and think that they look Native American or indigenous or American Indian. It's not possible. Let me explain this, right? Let me give a perfect example. If you seen a, a Navajo person, right, you would think nine times out of ten, you would think that that person looked Hispanic. Because every person you've seen that looked like that, you said that this person, you met them, the person they was Hispanic, right? A so-called mestizo person. You see what I'm saying? You might see somebody that is Choctaw. You might see me, you might think with well, this person in Spain might think that, or oh, that's a black person. I mean, you're not wrong, right? But when people say, oh, this person is not indigenous, they're black, you're talking about two different things. There's people, like I said, there are people that were classified as black that are in Africa, Asia, parts of Europe, even parts of the Pacific Islands or the East Indies. You ever seen Aboriginal Australia? You ever seen people in the Solomon Islands? You ever seen people from Fiji? You ever seen certain Samoan people? The problem with our people is a lot of our people in the Americas have lost their ethnic identity. When the Spaniards came, they disrupted the Nahua peoples. And the Portuguese came and they came and they disrupted and the English and the Dutch they disrupted the Arawak or the Carib. The Caribbean people's way of life and system. When these people took control, these Europeans took control of Puerto Rico, which they call Puerto Rico Boricam, where they took control of Hispaniola, right? So, for example, for example, people say that the indigenous people of Haiti and the Dominican Republic were erased, right? That there's none left, that those people that live in Haiti and the Dominican Republic, that those are black and Hispanic people. Like I told you, right? So let me go back all the way to the beginning, right? The Europeans, when they first landed on that island, right? Which is called, whose whole thing was called Haiti or Kiskia, right? The indigenous people, the Caribbean people, right? That's what they're all called. This Taino thing, Netaino meant noble. That's not a group of people that was calling themselves that ethnically, right? We all deal with Caribbean people. So the reason why the whole thing is called Caribbean, right? When the Spaniards first arrived on that island and they labeled that whole area the West Indies and they called the people Indio or Indian, right? And in the earliest uh, uh, records of the conquistadors and they've been interacting with the people of that place, right? Go back to the late 1400s, 1500s. You see that word, right? Indians, the Indians, the Indians, the Indians. And then the word stops. And you don't see anything talking about any group people call Indians being in no Haiti or no what became Dominican Republic. Uh, 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 by like 1700s, 1800s, you don't, you don't see that anymore. So people assume, okay, so they came, they eradicated this race. American Indian is not a race. They were just calling us Indian. That's just what it was calling us, right? Europeans. People assume that the Europeans came and they erased this group of people and then replaced them with black and Hispanic, Haitian and Dominican people. Not understanding that black and Hispanic is something that was later on as race was created, because race as a social construct starts to come about, about, let me say, 1700s, 1800s. We hear about Negroid, Caucasoid, Caucasian, Mongoloid. You see what I'm saying? Creole, mulatto, all these terms that they, they put those terms on the indigenous people when they racially classified them. It's like, for example, when the Europeans, when the Portuguese first came to uh, what is modern day Angola, the Wakongo empire right the wakongo empire when they first came and found these people they were not calling these people black in the mid 1400s because in the mid 1400s the portuguese pardon me the mid 1400s when the portuguese came to the wakongo empire which is the modern day angola and africa they were not calling those people black because black and white and all this that was not a thing yet by the mid 1400s when black negroid caucus and all this stuff starts to come about this is something that they use all over the world. They use this in Fiji. They use this in Tasmania. They use this in Madagascar. They use this in Ethiopia, Mali, Ethiopia. <clears throat> they use this in uh, Central America, the Caribbean, islands like Jamaica, Haiti. A lot of people get the two confused. It's not that who's black or Hispanic. You need to understand how those terms were created. Black, being black, and somebody calling you black or saying you look black, it's not a substitute for being an indigenous person of the Americas. Same way it's not a substitute for being from 
Fiji or Tonga or Easter Island or the Philippines. There's different people. You understand what I'm saying? Everybody has to have a nationality and an ethnicity first. And then you start talking about what you racially look like to people. People might say, I look Hispanic. They want to classify me as <coughs> a mulatto or a mestizo because while well, medium brown, I got like a type 3B type of curl pattern you don't really see black people have i'm like well okay well if that's what you're gonna call me you're gonna call me. but i me personally i don't practice racism right i don't gain anything from practicing racism as an indigenous person of somebody of muskoki and carib descent my mom's from barbados my dad is from oklahoma indian territory family's from Boley, Oklahoma, and we woke Oklahoma. That's where my roots come from. That's the story that's in my family. You see what I'm saying? What I look like to somebody when I walk around, that's a whole different... I don't identify with my race. I've heard so-called black and Hispanic people say that we can't be racist because we don't have... We're not white. We don't have the power to white supremacist power structure. Okay, so if we can't be racist, why do y'all still identify with y'all race and try to practice it? Because a racist is somebody that practices race. They identify with it. When you call yourself brown or black or Hispanic or Spanish or Latino or Latina, you are not using ethnic terms. You're using terms that's based off of, like I told you, white supremacy, even black supremacy, black identity, extremism, Afrocentrism, and Eurocentrism, things that have nothing to do with us and a whole lot of dogma that's based off of what you look like. And I told you. If you use, if you're a so-called black and Hispanic person and you use race or racism, not only are you going to confuse uh, 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 your nation, like let's say you're a Dominican or let's say you're uh, 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 El Salvadorian, right? Not only con is going to confuse you the way you look at your fellow El Salvadorian, for example, right? It's going to confuse you as far as how you look at certain people in your family. Because the thing about our people is we are brown-skinned people with various different curl patterns, even in people's families. Everybody in the Mexican family here probably not going to be straight. Some people here are probably going to be very curly, very kinky. Some people are going to be darker than others. We are a very diverse group of people. We are not the pale people with the blonde hair and the brown the brown hair. and the If anything, we have different skin complexions. We have different facial features, right? And we have different hair textures, even in your own family. Whether you're Dominican, Panamanian, uh, uh, you a nigga from California, wherever you're from, you see what I'm saying? If we start practicing, start. If we keep practicing race, it's going to continue to divide us. One thing, like I said, I've seen it in the Nikitlaka movement, is them saying so-called Latinos are actually indigenous. They didn't speak Espanol, which is true, but black people are from Africa. Okay, so you don't understand because you're still talking about race. You're still talking about people being black. You're still talking about people that you're looking at, and you're looking at them, and they dark, or they light skin, or whatever, and their hair look like Velcro, and you calling that black and saying that's from Africa, and you don't know anything about Africa. Every ethnic group in Africa is not black. So, like I was saying, right, even when we go into the Dan Calloway people, when they talk about uh, uh, $5 Indians and Mexicans and Mongolia, you're going into race again. If you want to use the term American Indian, and you still got to put a group before you put Indian, like pure Picha Indian. Like uh, Carib Indian, like Mosquito Indian, like Tarahumara Indian, Hopi Indian, Lakota Indian. You still got to put a, a name of a group of people in that language. Like I told you Muskoki and I told you Carib. You got to put that before you put Indian anyway. Because like I told you, Indian is not a race. They called us Indian because they said that they were in the West. Pardon me, they said they were in the Indies. This was the West Indies. And they kept using that even when the more they discovered even parts of North America and South America. They kept saying that. It all starts off with the Caribbean. So I want to make this video. It's about 18 minutes long. Pertaining to this, I feel like I'm now old enough to explain this the way that I want to explain it. So if you are somebody that's walking around the Americas, because the only group of people in this world, who that, if you ask them what they are, and they're going to tell you, I'm black, I'm black, or I'm Spanish, I'm Hispanic. And these words mean nothing. Because if you ask a, a Somali person what's their lineage, they're going to tell you their lineage. Being Somali ain't it. That's not it. it. It gets to, you see what I'm saying? If you ask, like, y'all talking about Zulu people, Zulu people that live in Botswana, or Zulu people that live in South Africa, you guys understand, or Iraqi people, there's Kurdish people in Iraq. Our people are the only people who are going to continue to call themselves black and Hispanic. And then if you somebody actually know your indigenous identity, you're not going to look any different than 
you're you not going to look any different than these people that's calling themselves black or Hispanic. Nobody's going to see me walking out the street and be like, oh, that's a, uh, that's a Carib, that's an Arawak, that's a Muskoki person. Nobody's going to do that. They're going to see me. They might think that he like a Hispanic. He makes mulatto. That, that don't have nothing to do with me. I don't identify my race. So I want to make this video real quick with all this whole topic, right? And I'm out.